So talking about our weather across Western Mass, we have seen a ton of unsettled days this month, but we actually haven't gotten a ton of rainfall, at least not at Barnes and Westover, uh, Barnes in Westfield and Westover in Chicopee. Oh, goodness. But, uh, you know, that hasn't been the case for everybody. If you check in with some of the hill towns, you check in with Belchertown. I mean, they have significant rainfall from some of the storms the last two weeks. We finally picked up some significant rainfall, a few tenths of an inch here in Springfield yesterday. Westfield ended up picking almost eight tenths of an inch, which is good. It helped with the deficit, but we still have a deficit of almost two inches for the month. Now, when you look at rainfall to date for uh, Barnes at Westfield, we are still dealing with a surplus. So even though rainfall has been lacking, we're still doing okay to date. Now, as far as Chicopee, a little bit less of a surplus, but there is still a surplus, and that was at the beginning of the month. We'll get the month end numbers coming in from Westover sometime next week. The drought monitor updated today across the country. The worst place is across the plains. That's where we have some extreme and exceptional drought areas like Wichita, Kansas, to Omaha, Nebraska, getting out towards St. Louis, Missouri, uh, and even up towards Chicago, some significant drought. Even the mid-Atlantic is starting to creep in that direction. Some severe drought popping up in uh, parts of Maryland, but New England's doing okay. We have some abnormally dry conditions throughout Berkshire County and then extreme western and the eastern portions here of Hamden County. But across much of the Pioneer Valley, so far so good. But we could use more of a steady rainfall, nothing over dramatic and heavy, but it is the summer season. So that's, you know, kind of hard to come by these days. Speaking of dramatics, we've got this this incredible storm system that's been crossing the Ohio Valley from the plains today. Uh, it has finally started to weaken a little bit, still producing a few severe storm warnings across Kentucky. But I believe that has technically now been deemed a derecho, even though it's fallen apart. But it brought 80 mile an hour straight line wind across several hundred miles today. Meanwhile, New England much quieter, not dealing with any rain here in Western Mass, but we do have a lot of clouds. Those clouds should decrease tonight in our future cast, showing some clearing for overnight. Wind should be calm. So a little bit of valley fog possible for early tomorrow morning, but that diminishes fast. We end up seeing a light breeze out of the south southwest, warmer temperatures, some good sunshine. Doubtful any rain pops up tomorrow. It looks like we'll stay rain free again. Good pool day shaping up as we finally have some summer like heat coming our way. And even Saturday is looking improved now. I think we'll see some sunshine in the morning. Building clouds in the afternoon, it'll turn muggier for Saturday night, but it looks rain free as well. That will change on Sunday. Scattered showers or periods of rain are expected on Sunday. Sunday. Not a total washout, but a warm front is going to keep things cloudy and unsettled most of the day. So your forecast for tomorrow, highs could approach upper 80s throughout some of the downtown areas, but middle 80s expected for most of the area with good sunshine and some scattered clouds. Maybe you're headed to the beaches Friday or Saturday, look, both looking good. I think you'll have more clouds on Saturday, whether you're at the Cape, Connecticut, Rhode Island, or Hampton Beach. Temperatures will be in the 70s, but not a bad forecast. Much better than it's been in recent days. But things do go downhill if you're Staying out toward the Cape through July 4th. Temperatures will still be in the 70s. Humidity is going to be sky high, and we are dealing with a threat for daily showers. And that'll be the case here in Western Mass as well. Muggy meter definitely ticking upwards as we head closer to July 4th, as well as some shower and thunderstorm chances, both Monday and now Tuesday, looking stormy and the uh, afternoon and evenings. The end of the week looking hot but drier, and the weekend possibly turning stormy. Matt, back to you.